Coogan Cassius, IFL TV, here at the new uh, Matchroom Elite Boxing Gym. With me, I have John Ryder. We missed you the other day, slipped off, didn't you? I know, how's it going, Coog? Yeah. How are you, right? Yeah, not bad. I got all the orders from the boss, didn't I? I had to slip away early doors and get back for training. So. But you know, like I did try and get you, you was doing another one, then I grabbed someone else and then... Yeah. Yeah, no, I think that might be in the sun or something. You know what I mean? Never, never, never. <laughs> no, like, never, never. Never mug us for the sun. Never mug you for the sun. No, no. never do that. Uh, first of all, great, great gym here. How does it feel difference wise in to Gator? Yeah, I mean, it's, um, it's new surroundings, so it takes a bit of getting used to. And, um, but I like it, it's nice. It's got the uh, that training camp feel to it. I mean, it's out in the sticks a bit. But, um, I mean, the facilities are great, do you know what I mean? We've got a nice little living room in there where we can chill after the runs in the morning. And then a nice little kitchen to do all that, club and all that, and then we're in here for Kevin the, Mitchell for the walking boxing. around naked, it's sort of know, great. It's just the norm, innit? It's great fun, it's just, great fun. Yeah, it's just how it is, isn't it? Absolutely. Um, obviously, following on for the press conference the other day, uh, this is a, a huge fight for you, isn't it, against uh, Sergei Kamitsky. Uh, we're obviously very familiar with him from his fights with Martin Murray, and what happened with Frank Bullioni as well so you're going in there against uh, you know a tough a tough opponent in Kamitsky oh definitely and, and this is the kind of opponents I want I, I think I belong at this level and in this class and it's a fight I'm going to go in and I'm going to win and I'm going to look good doing it he's, he's a good tough opponent but I mean if I want to achieve anything in boxing I've got to be beating the likes of this opponent I mean I think the fight against Bullioni I think that I think it was more Frank's undoing than Kamitsky's intelligent boxing that, to, to win the fight, do you know what I mean? And um, I know Frank's a lot better than that, but um, it's my turn against him now and I'm, I'm going to show what I can do. Mm. You obviously beat Jez Wilson in that eliminator for the British title. Um, with Nick Blackwell's at the moment, number one for the yeah. for, for the British title. And we don't know what's happening with Billy Joe Saunders, he's European champion. He obviously is going on to possibly compete for a world title at some point so that's sort of a little bit up in the air but you may necessarily not go down the British route if there's something else better available. Yeah well who knows I mean um, at the moment to hang around for the, the British title is going to take might take another six to eight months and I'm, I'm bored of fighting six and eight rounders I can't get motivated for them as such so I want a nice big fight I want to fight for a title and you know, we'll, we'll assess it after this and I'll sit down with Tony and Eddie and see what people think and where to go but um, I'd like to say Billy Joe's well within his right he's got one more defence to make of the British and it's a, who wouldn't want to keep the belt outright so I mean why not if he's going to fight for it he's going to fight for it mm. obviously you, know, you had an outing not too long ago uh, in Camden uh, where you got a, a win under your belt didn't you yeah yeah. It's, uh, it was nice because it was on my birthday as well and it was in, um, in King's Cross so it was right near my house um, only a six rounder, but yeah, six rounder points win, and just nice to keep boxing regular. Definitely. So uh, preparation, everything's spot on leading up now to the eleventh yeah. uh, so far. Everything's bang on. I got me my, my girlfriend and me just had a baby, so that's of course you nice. Are. Yeah, so that's um. Coogan Ryder. Coogan, uh, yeah, no, Cassius Ryder, isn't it? Cassius Ryder. Yeah. What's the baby's name? She hasn't got a name yet. Oh, okay. We're, uh, we're in the process. So, uh, and as it's a she, you don't. Yeah, not call baby, it, not Coogan. Not really Cassius. Yeah. Coogina. Coogina, yeah. Coogina. Cougat. Cassina. 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 Yeah. No, but um, no, she's a beautiful little thing, and the <laughs> girlfriend's doing well. She's taken to it like a duck to water. So um, I know I'm struggling a bit. Really? Nah, um, but it's um, just the motivation I need is coming on at the right time. So I hope you're going to see me put an extra push in now. Well, listen, congratulations. There can't be more motivation than obviously you having a brand new child and, you know, getting Definitely. back in the mix of things, Mr. Ryder. That's it, exactly, yeah. So, uh, yeah, everything to fight for now. And, I mean, uh, a slip up to um, Sergei Kamitsky wouldn't be, wouldn't be as planned. And that's not part of the plan and it's not going to happen. So, I'm looking forward to October 11th. All right. Well, listen, John Ryder, thanks for talking to IFL TV. Thanks for giving us a bit of your time. You. And uh, like I said, we'll probably catch up with you in the lead up to the big O2 show uh, on October the 11th. Yeah, lovely. Cheers, Coogan. All right. Thank you. No problem. Thank you very much, John.